Today's video is how to set up an independent Nuzzle channel. So let's get started. Setting up an independent Nuzzle channel can be done for several reasons. One, to allow the nose wheel to be adjusted separately from the rudders. Two, to disable the nose wheel if it has a retractable gear when the gear is up. And three, if you set up a nose wheel gyro, whether you're using a built-in nose wheel gyro on a receiver or a separate nose wheel gyro independently. First, we need to add a second channel for the nose wheel steering and the source be tied to rudder. So when we move the rudder stick that will control both the rudder on the tail of the plane and the nose wheel steering. This is going to kind of be in line with the previous video that I made showing setting up dual control surfaces. However, the reason why I wanted this separate is so we can go into setting it up where when the gear comes up the movement's disabled and also you can change the percentage. Push model, go to the mixer, and we're just going to use channel 7 again for this feature. Channel 7, change the source to rudder. Use the emblem you see here. Now we're going to add a switch. I'm going to put mine on SF, which is the back left. And I want this mix to be active when the gear is down. So that would be gear up, SF down. SF up, which is a switch away, will be my gear down position. Now you will notice on the monitor on the top right hand corner, when I move the stick, I'm getting movement on this channel. When I flip the switch, I no longer get movement on this channel. So you put the switch in the position that you want it to be active. Now I'm going to make the channel active again for just a moment and show you the difference in the weight. I'm using 100% rates currently, so whatever number I change this to, you will get that rate on your nose wheel. Look up here in the top right hand corner on the monitor, now you will see it will move 60%. Now this weight is a multiplier, so if we change the input value, whether we do it on the input screen or flip our rudder mid-rate switch, so 60% multiplied, you'll notice when we put it on the mid-rate of 85, and now we move the stick, we no longer get 60, we get 51. So just keep that in mind, and that's how you can adjust the nose wheel steering separate from the rudder. Last step we would need to do is go to the output screen and make sure that your nose wheel is correct in the proper direction. Let's say it's supposed to be going left and it's going right, or it's going right and it's supposed to be going left. Go to channel 7, click edit, invert that channel. That will invert the output. You'll notice you get the little arrow icon, and the yellow bar is going opposite of the blue bar, which is the blue is the mixer. That's just a normal value, but the output's been inverted, which is the yellow. That's why the top one is going a separate way. And one thing you can do in this screen, additionally, is Label the channel. I put NWS for nose wheel steering. Now we've completed the nose wheel steering setup. If you found this video informative or learned something new, go ahead and push like down below. If you want to see future TX16S tutorial, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next one.